What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks so much for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place. Let's get into this conversation slash reality chat. Now, guys, when I heard the news (laughs) about Melody Cherie Rogers being now the co-owner of a network... I was, you know, like dancing for joy for this chick because let me tell you, this is coming from someone who is not a melometer. Um, Again, I've talked about this before. It's no disrespect for those who label themselves as that. And it's definitely no disrespect to Melody. I just don't call myself anything when it comes to people because we all have to remember. And I just have this thing when it comes to human beings And especially in the United States, we live in a very idolistic worship culture. And that's why you see a lot of these people who are like crazies that literally worship the former president. (laughs) And it's like, this man pisses and puts his pants on the same way that you do. And he wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. So why are you like going out here, going to bat for this dude? I'm not trying to put Melody in the same boat as the former president okay so please don't think that that's what i'm doing but i'm just saying that coming from someone who is not a millimeter i am so happy for this woman because i have been rooting for her rooting for her rooting for her ever since she had the courage to put her foot down and say enough is enough no matter what people's opinions of her were because i've heard a lot of people say that the only reason she divorced him is because she was on the television show. And if they were never on TV, she should was she would still be with him right now. I don't like to make speculations like that. I actually have said, I believe that her being on the show actually did help her and gave her even more strength to realize that she didn't need to stay with this ass clown. So I don't have a problem if that is the catalyst that helped her to push forward like she says god said go so listen god has a way and if his ways that he lays out for you it's a path of doing this to make that happen then so be it because look at her now she is the co-owner of a network called nubian tv and her former husband, father of her, like he likes to say, four beautiful children, he can't even afford to pay for dinner for his alleged girlfriend for the birthday dinner that (laughs) was had for Sheree. So look at the irony of that. So I'm not just happy for her just because she is excelling. She is succeeding and she is doing well and she has literally had the table prepared before her in the presence of her enemies, like the word of God says. And that's a scripture that I stand on to this day because I know that God will do it. If he'll do it for me, he'll do it for you, right? And if he'll do it for Melody, he'll do it for you. So for those of you who look to Melody as a symbol of encouragement and motivation, applaud what is going on. Don't hate on it. Be happy for her. Congratulate because the Bible says rejoice with those that rejoice. Mourn with those that mourn. I am so happy for her, but I'm also really happy for her is because we are seeing in real time the word of God being manifested, which is as long as the world exists, seed time and harvest time will be. And whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. And to literally see in real time, hotels, seeds that he has planted growing up in his life and being harvested and the (laughs) crops are rot. (laughs) They're, They're just rotten to the core Nothing is working out for him. He's done all of these different ventures and none of them have been successful. The only thing that is working out for him at this point in time 
is the fact that he is still on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And even that is going down the drain because, listen, with this new venture that Melody has moving forward, I don't know if she's going to be coming back to this show next season. And if she doesn't, I wouldn't blame her one bit. Because a lot of the people from what we have seen and a lot of the things that I have seen other people talk about, because listen, I don't follow any of these people on social media. The only one that I do follow is Melody. And when I say follow, I she is one of the people that I follow on Instagram, but I'm not really active on there. So there's that. But I don't follow any of these people on social media. So when I hear people talking about this was said or this was done or whatever, I just hear other people reporting about it. I don't have time to follow these people on social media and see what they have going on or seeing what this person said on a live video or seeing what they posted two days ago or or posted in their stories. I just don't have time. So even me doing this right now, I carved a few minutes out of my day to even record this because I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to get any content in today to just discuss. But seeing in real time the ventures that he has tried to pursue not work out for him is something that I absolutely am happy about. I love to see it because so many times in life when people have done you wrong, we know and believe most of us do at least that eventually they're going to get what's coming to them. But a lot of times we rarely see it. Sometimes it may not even happen in that person's life the way that we would desire for it to, but it may happen in someone's life that they're attached to. It may go down to their children, and I wouldn't wish any harm on his children because those are Melody's children. And she's working very hard to make sure that they have nothing but a great legacy that she leaves for them because he's not going to do anything. He's not doing anything that would actually benefit him. And to be honest with you, the one thing that he could do is like literally get a real job where they have some health insurance and some other benefits, put that money into a 401k, save up, get a life insurance policy, like do that because him trying to be this serial entrepreneur is just not working out. He did the children's book and I believe that he did that as a sympathy play to try to make it seem like, well, this is something that I did for my children. The book, probably didn't sell more than 50 copies. I'm just saying, you know, he tried to make Melody look bad on the show by saying that, well, I had the book signing and the children were supposed to be there. She knew that I wanted the children there, but she decided not to bring them because it was on her weekend. Well, he could have scheduled the book signing to be on his weekend. How hard was that to do? Because trust and believe, it wasn't like the place that he was having the book signing at was just so booked out that that was the only weekend that he could do it. Like, it was just ridiculous. So doing things like that to try to make Melody look like the bad guy, we know how he is. So that didn't work out. He was supposed to be doing a calendar. I don't know who still buys calendars these days, but it was supposed to be a calendar with him with out much clothes on. So that I guess is supposed to be something that would be attractive to the thirsty chicks that see it for dudes like him. Nothing about him is attractive. Nothing about him is attractive. So, you know, you can have that. And apparently not many people wanted it because I didn't really see much happen after that. You know, he was supposed to be going to people's houses and cooking a meal and doing fitness and having an underwear line. He was going to do the suits line. He had the wine. Like, how many freaking things are you you going to do? And the, and the stupid thing about this dude is that he didn't really get the memo that even when it comes to the suits, a lot of times the market that he would need to be attracting would be women and more so than just women, mainly African-American women. That was his target market. And that's why he tried to do the little sympathy tour talking about Melody was his 85% and he messed up and he wants his family back and he knows he was wrong and all this other stuff. But yet, even when he was doing that, he still tried to 
get himself off of the hook to say, well, she told me to get a girlfriend. So I was just doing what she told me to do. Bull crap. Bull. So he didn't get the memo, you know? And then Carlos tried to prop him up and doing some interviews with him. And, and all of those things just did not work out. People were not seeing it for Hotel at all. And he still has not gotten his builder's license. The revenge P-O-R-N attempt was revealed. You know, like there still may be repercussions criminally for that with him and his baby mom. But we shall see. We have to just continue to wait and see. So nothing has been working out for him. Nothing. And he couldn't even afford to pay for the birthday dinner for Sheree. And we know that they weren't really a real couple anyway. And they're no longer in this fake relationship at this point in time. Real time, right? So Melody's out here now being the co-owner of a network, which is just another line on her resume, another level up in her net worth. And this this clown couldn't afford to pay for dinner for everyone at the birth <laughs> at the birthday dinner because from what I heard it was something that he did and people were invited to and he was trying to make himself appear to be something that he's not in front of these people. And you just made yourself look even more stupid, like a pathetic, broke failure that you are. And so to see this news come out that she's doing these big things and I don't really see the reason for her coming back as a main person on Love and Marriage Huntsville in the future if she doesn't desire to do so anymore because I think she sees the writing on the wall. She's seen how people have treated her. She's seen what people are really are about. And for, I know for me, and I assume for people like her, it's a really hard pill to swallow to be around so many people that really don't wish you well. And you did a lot to really help to get them into the place that they are because nobody's really interested in the Scots at all. And they've just continue to make themselves look even more deplorable in their relationships and their antics. Definitely no one sees it for hotel. He can't he can't pay to have a successful business, <laughs> let alone just having a successful business, right? And Melody's out here just continuously leveling up and doing bigger things. And he hates it. But I absolutely love it. I'm here for it. I say kudos to her. It's a true blessing. I mean, I just remember the moment I saw her throw that glass at him when they were at the Fletcher's home and Nell and Chris were trying to be mediators in the situation. And he's sitting there talking about, well, you couldn't satisfy me. She's satisfying me and she's doing this and she's doing that. And she's trying to be calm. She's sitting there drinking her juice or mimosa, whatever it was in the glass and she just so calmly, but with so much lovely aggressiveness, threw that glass in his direction and it almost hit him. And I just said, just a smidgen more melody and you would have had it. But I just remember that moment like yesterday and I just remember screaming out like, yes. And my husband was in the other room. He's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but I was just like, that's what I'm talking about. And I just believe like, at that moment, when she threw that glass, it was like, it's on. I'm just going to continue to live my life, be successful, because that is going to be the best revenge that I could ever give to your broke, black, dark soul ass. You know, remember Tisha wanted to call Melody dark soul? No, she had the wrong one. So I just really wanted to talk about that, guys, because I think it is absolutely so funny that the story about Martel asking people to send him cash apps who were at the birthday dinner to either reimburse him or <laughs> let's just get this money together so I can pay this pay this bill because I just have enough <laughs> for myself and Sheree. And even then, I don't even think he really paid for his meal and Sheree's. I think Sheree actually covered for it. And so 
that went viral about him not having enough money and asking people for cash apps. And then on the heels of that, the news comes out that Melody is now the co-owner of a network. Give it up for Melody. Oh my God. I love to see it. Congratulations, Martel, (laughs) birth name. Such a freaking loser. I just absolutely don't see anything good happening for him. And it's like that scene from The Color Purple. And you all know what I'm talking about. When Seely put those two fingers (laughs) up to Mr.'s face and said, until you do right by me, anything you think about is going to fail. Everything that he is even thinking about, let alone trying to do, is failing. So guys, you let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.